we're moving into um, a sort of a continuation of the sentence that was begun earlier this morning about human flourishing. And essentially, that'll go into the second session of the afternoon as well. This is just one continuous topic, as you can really see. Um, so we'll, we'll deal with all sorts of things, and I'm sure somebody will raise issues like bioethics and dignity. Did any of you read, by the way, Stephen Pinker's um, review of the, the volume that came out from the President's Council on Bioethics on Human Dignity, to which, which uh, Pat, Pat Churchland had a had an essay and did, it, did anybody here read it? Okay, so, uh, well, I, I commend it to you. It was in the New Republic on May the 28th and it was called The Stupidity of Dignity and it um, really is quite good and has a bearing on all these issues. Uh, um, I also thought this is, uh, in terms of trying to communicate and, uh, and uh, I found this, when I was back in England this time, I found this little book um, and it just had some little sort of salutary information here, which I just thought I'd share with you. It's, it's some, somewhat on point. It's, it's the instructions that were issued to American servicemen in Britain in 1942. Um, and it's, it was written, <laughs> written by a, obviously by a committee, but it's got this amazing advice in here. And this went to every American serviceman. Um, and it, it, it said, you know, you're going to Great Britain as part of an Allied offensive uh, to meet Hitler and beat him on his own ground. It's this marvelous stuff. It says, don't be a show-off. British dislike bragging and showing off. American wages and American soldiers pay are the highest in the world. When payday comes, it would be sound practice to learn to spend your money according to British standards. It's got this very nice little advice. The British are tough. Don't be misled by the British tendency to be soft-spoken and polite. If they need to be, they can be plenty tough. The English language didn't spread across the oceans and over the mountains and jungles and swamps of the world because these people were panty wastes. <laughs> so, so, so. And it goes on. And it finishes off, uh, use common sense on all occasions. By your conduct, you have great power to bring about a better understanding between the two countries after the war is over. You will soon find yourself among a kindly, quiet, hard-working people who've been living under a strain such as few people in the world have ever known. In your dealings with them, let this be your slogan. It is always impolite to criticize your hosts. It's militarily stupid to criticize your allies. <laughs> now... I just wish people would talk to each other a bit more like this these days. It seems to be a remarkable little volume, and I thought I would share it with you. Um, first, first up this afternoon, there's an, an example of how to flourish in, a, in, another, in another place. The rules for flourishing.